All right, let's get started. In today's class, we're going to consider the k nearest neighbor classification, and uh, we are going to actually um, get to understand what what the k nearest neighbor means, and at what circumstance we can use, and why we need. I mean, we need uh, this algorithm. All right. So first, we will first understand the intuition behind that. That we also see some um, real world examples of k nearest neighbor, and uh, we also move on. To, to the to the whiteboard to also get to understand the intuition behind that and then after that we will move on to the lab to see how we're going to implement this k nearest neighbor okay and how we are going to even choose the k we are going to discuss as, as we progress right so we have we have uh, quite quite interesting things coming up right so let's get started now talking about the k k k nearest neighbor right um what k nearest neighbor does is if you see the simple um definition that i gave here right it just assumes that right it just assumes that similar things right similar similar things exist in close proximity right it, it, they exist in close proximity or are nearer to each other right so let's let's break it down again right i know it's simple but let's still break it down again and then um get to understand what what this means okay so what k nearest neighbor tries to do is that um if if you if you just think about the name right it's just it's k right k nearest neighbor okay That is that is basically what it is, right? K nearest neighbor. Now, if we if we think about what what this nearest neighbor means, okay, what it's saying is that items that are closer to each other are similar to each other. Okay, so we, you can think about I mean the normal life life I mean the normal life circumstance where I mean similar people stay in similar neighborhood, right? So we can think about um. You can think about, I mean, if, if in your campuses, you can see that we have, um, we have girls hostel, we have boys hostel, right? So, um, and girls are similar to each other, so they have their own neighborhood, they stay in their own hostels, right? If we think about, say, boys, um, boys hostel, they are similar to each other, boys are similar to boys, right? So, they stay in their, in their neighborhood, right? So, basically, what that is what, um, K, I mean, this, this nearest neighbor is actually trying we will talk about this key right we talk about this key so let's first understand what this nearest neighbor is trying to say right so basically uh, as, as we just gave an example right items that are closer to each other um are likely to live in i mean i mean items that are similar to each other are likely to 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 live closer to each other right so if if you consider example right if let's consider another example where um let's say let's say you have nine friends right let's say you have nine friends Right. Let's say you have nine friends, and then out of these nine friends, let's say um, let's say f um, seven of them, right? Let's say seven of your friends out of the nine, right? Seven out out of nine, right? Seven out of nine, right? Speaks French, right? Let's say seven out of your um of your friend they speak French, right? Now, if I don't know you, right? If I don't know you, and then you ask me if I see if I see these seven of your friends, right? And then you ask me, um, what what kind of language are you likely to speak, right? Then I'll say that you are likely to speak French, right? I will say that you are likely to speak French because I know I know seven of your friends, they all speak French, right? I know seven of them, they all speak French. So I'm likely to say that you are you are closer to these um these seven friends, right? These seven guys, and they all speak French. So you are likely to speak French too. All right, so I, I can I can actually make that that assumption that you are also likely to speak French, All right? So there's a saying that show me your friend and I'll show you your character, All right? Which 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 means that um what your friends mostly like or what they mostly do, right? You it's likely that um you also do the same thing, right? You are similar to each other and that's why you're able to I um, mean get along and that's why you're able to form that kind of friendship. All right, so that's that's basically what this um nearest neighbor is trying to tell us. All right, so if you if you if you take um another example, maybe in your family, right? If I if I if I know your father, right? If maybe your father is a vegetarian, right? Maybe your father is a veg um vegetarian, right? And then maybe your mother, your mother is also a vegetarian, right? So your father is a vegetarian, your mother is a vegeta uh, vegetarian. Maybe your senior brother, right? Maybe your senior brother is also a vegetarian. Now, if you ask me, are you a veg or non-veg, right? I'm likely to say that you are a veg, right? I'm likely to say that you're a veg, okay? Because you are, you're closer to them and, uh, I mean, those are the people you're closer uh, to, to to the most, right? Those are the people you're closer to, to the most. That's why you can see over here that I say close proximity, right? 
or nearer to each other, you're similar to those people. So it's likely that you're also a veg, right? Although there are some circumstances where all of the family can be veg ve I mean, vegetarians, but you will be non-veg, right? It's, it's also possible. But at most of the circumstances, at most of the circumstances, it's likely that you are also a vegetarian, all right? So, I mean, items that are closer to each other are similar to each other. Basically, that's what um, the key nearest neighbor is actually trying to say. If, if you take, for instance, um, um, people who, who like who like buying Apple products, right, who like buying Apple products, um, they have similar behavior when they go to, say, Amazon website, right? They actually search for such products, right? Um, if you take people who like, say, um, Samsung products, they also have similar behavior when they go to they go to Amazon website, right? They they look for those products. They look for say Samsung charger. They will be looking for say Samsung phones or Samsung laptop, something like that, right? In the same way, those who like Apple products will be doing the same thing. So they are all customers who behave in the same way. Okay, so if we want to do some classification, then we can classify um, those who prefer Apple products as as against those who prefer Samsung products. Okay, so. Basically, items that are um, closer to each other are similar to each other, right? That's what um, this this nearest neighbor is trying to to tell us. Now, if you take the K, right? If we take the K, K is trying to tell us how many um, neighborhood neighbors do you have, right? In your neighborhood, how many neighbors do you have in your neighborhood? So, if I, if for instance, I talked about um, your family where um, you have your mother, right? You have your your father, your mother, and then your sen senior brother, right? And then you yourself, right? And then you yourself. So. If I if I want to um, classify you as veg, right, as veg or non-veg, right, as veg or non-veg. Now, in this case, the neighborhood that I'm considering is your father, your mother, and then your senior brother, right, and then your senior brother. So I have three people here. So these three will represent the K. So in this case, K will be three. Okay, so that represents the neighborhood. Now, if you take the example where I say that you have nine friends, right? Where you have nine friends, and out of the nine, seven of them um, speak French, right? So this nine represents the K, right? So in this case, K is equal to nine. Okay, so the number of neighborhoods that you have, I mean, the number of members that you have in your neighborhood is what we refer to as the K, right? So the nearest neighbor represents how close you are to... Um, how closer you are to your neighbor, right? And then um, the K here represents how many neighbors you are talking about. Okay, so that's basically what the K and N is. Just just uh, a brief overview of that. Now let's see some some um, practical applications of um, this this K nearest neighbor. Okay, so let me go here, and then you can actually see. Let me just um, go to say Amazon website, right? Let me go there. Now, if I come here and I search for, say, Samsung, let me just search for, say, Samsung. Yeah, let me just search for Samsung products. All right, so I'm just going to choose anything here, all right, any Samsung product here. All right, so let me, let's say uh, I like this one. So let me just choose that one and see what happens over here. Now, this is the page that they will direct me to, right? Now, if you see here, if you see here, right, now you can see that we have some now if you see the items that they are being recommended to me right you, you can see that um when i clicked on samsung product right i, I click on samsung product okay now see the other product they are that they are suggesting to me they are all samsung products right they are all samsung product okay i click on samsung product so now they know that i am interested in samsung products okay so they are showing me samsung products over here right so these items are closer to each other so they will be shown to me okay they will be shown to me now if you go down here right you see that customers who bought this item also bought these digital items so you see that this item is also closer to this item that's why they are actually showing it to me okay so we when we talk about say market basket analysis we also get to understand i mean in depth of this one but in the in the end i mean in the meantime you can actually see that items that are closer to each other right are the ones that they are showing now i search for samsung pro products so now they are showing me samsung product not say um, they will not show me say baby clothes or they will not show me say um ladies wake or something like that right or i mean they are actually going to show me something which is closer to what i have searched Okay, which is closer to what I have said. So if I search for different, uh, maybe instead of instead of Samsung, let me search for say summer clothes. All right, let me do that and then see what I will have. Okay, so now you see that I have clothes here. Right, some of the clothes that you can wear 
during summertime, right? So um, let me just click on one of them, right? Let me just click on one of them and then see what will happen over here, okay? Um, maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, let me just click on this, this product. Now, this is the product that I clicked on, right? Let's see the, the, the product that are being shown to me again. Now, you can see that all the other products that they are showing me are all those summer summer products, right? So they are all same as the T-shirt that I clicked on, okay? They are all same as the T-shirt that I clicked on. Now, they are not going to show me Samsung phones because Samsung phones are not closer to this. They are not similar to this, okay? So they are not going to show me such products, right? So all these algorithms that are running behind their, their platform, okay? All these algorithms that are running behind the Samsung platform over here, okay? And you can see that um, they, are, they are continuously I mean, suggesting me some of the items that um, I might be also interested in over here, all right? So these are, these are some of the practical examples. If, even if you go to, um, let's say you go to um, New York Times, right? Let's, let's search for that. Let's say you go to New York Times. All right, now if you go to New York Times, if you come to New York Times here, you can see that they have grouped everything according to how similar they are, right? You have, we have um, the world, we have US, we have politics, right? So items that are, that are similar to each other, right? So you can see that we have, uh, we have world, we have US, we have politics, and why we have business opinion, right? We have tech, we have science, health, right? So things that are closer to each other, they are all grouped together over here. Now, if I click on any of them, right? If I click on any of them, let's say uh, if I click on health, right? Anything that will be under the health tab will be things that are related to health, right? They all be things that are related to health, okay? If I say, if I go through, right, you see that every story here is um, it's a health related story, right? Every story here will be health re related story. If I go up again, if I go back, let me, let me go back again, right? And then if I go say, um, if I, if I click on say sports, let me go and click on sports, right? Now you can see over here, right? You can see over here that everything that will be here will be related to sports, right? So all these things are related to each other and that's why they've been able to group them together over here, right? And this is not just, I mean, handmade thing, right? These are some algorithms that they do at the background. Now, if I click, if I click on any of these, right? Or if I, if I subscribe now, right? And then I show interest for sports, pro, uh, sports news. They're going to recommend to me um, only sports news, right? So that's what I am interested in. That's what they will be showing me, okay? So all these are some of the practical examples that you can actually see when we talk about items that are in close um, proximity, right? Items that are closer to each other, right? So you can you can actually see how these are being um, being done in the in, in real time. Okay, now what we are going to do in the next video is to actually see how this um, close proximity is being calculated. Right, how we actually calculate this 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 close proximity. Right, we are, how we do that. So in the next video, that's what we're going to do. And the various distance measures that we use when we're talking about um, the k means. Right. With respect to the K-means, uh, I mean, the various distance measures that we use is what we are going to discuss when we get to the next video. So see you in the next video.